dinner and I wanted to do like a quick and easy meal prep. Um, so I'm planning to make about eight meals, hopefully, with what I'm gonna cook. So we have our protein. We have, um, we've got two pounds of ground turkey, one pound of wild caught salmon. The first meal we're gonna make is a crock pot turkey chili almost turkey soup whatever you want to call it but i'm going to put peas and carrots in that frozen um we're going to do one sweet potato and one can of chickpeas for additional protein and carbs and then one can of black beans and also chicken broth and then we'll throw in some kale with that so i know it's a lot but that should hopefully make four meals. Um, I am cooking for myself and Joshua, that's my husband. The salmon, we're gonna throw the salmon in the oven, do another sweet potato, maybe two, and also Brussels sprouts. So we've got veggies, we've got the carbs, we've got the protein with the salmon. And then third meal is just cooking the ground turkey on the side. Also making quinoa for the carb source and then doing a frozen bag of cauliflower. So frozen is just as good as fresh. That is something that I've learned from wonderful dietitians here on the internet. I'm actually going to throw these in the oven to defrost. So I'll show you guys that. I'll just kind of talk you through it. So yeah, and this is also very affordable. You could definitely add to this or eliminate things. Okay, so I follow I follow a dietitian on Instagram and she said like she shared the best hack of preparing frozen veggies and like roasting them and making them taste good. That's probably what she said. Okay, I can use that for later. I'm not wasting it, I promise. Put them in the oven at like 415, I think. I'm doing 420. For 15 minutes without anything on it. Pretty much just like throw your frozen veggies on the pan with nothing on them and you can add like oil and stuff but because these are going in the like turkey chili i'm going to just put them in there for 15 minutes and then i'll just add them to the turkey chili that's going in there for 15 minutes so in that time i'm going to prep the sweet potatoes um and like honestly if you could multitask like i highly recommend so Let's see, if anything, let me think about it real quick, hold on. Okay, quick pause, we're actually gonna put the turkey to cook first for the turkey chili. Because it takes a little bit to cook, so we'll get that going. This is my Dutch oven that I got from, or my dad got it for me from Target, and I absolutely love it, it's amazing. Um, so I'm gonna put that on medium, let it start heating up. And we're also going to put the quinoa to cook right now as well. So I'm just gonna get my pot. I absolutely, I love these pots so much. They're from TJ Maxx, they're so cute with a little wooden handle. Um, so I'm gonna throw that back there, start heating it up, and then, um, where's my little pot? Right here. Got my little strainer because if you don't know, rinse your rice and rinse your quinoa. We literally didn't do that for years and it's something that I recently learned about. So I'm gonna rinse the quinoa. Um, what, the quinoa's not down here. I don't know why I'm looking for quinoa down there. Okay, one second, one second. I rinsed the quinoa and I've got a cup of water and then I also have a half a cup of quinoa. And that's all I'm gonna prep because we really only need it for one of the meals, I think. Um, you, could always, you could always prep more, but it's up to you. I am making so many meals, I'm just gonna prep. Um, I believe that's two servings of quinoa. Then we're gonna throw the turkey on here. So we'll do that. Also, clean up as you go. So now we're heating up our third pan and we're gonna put the turkey to cook and it's been about five minutes. We've got the quinoa going, this turkey, now this turkey. I almost always buy Brussels sprouts just in a bag. It's up to you how you wanna buy them. These are kind of big though, so I don't know. It's kind of a little concerning, but it's fine. Um, so 
we're just gonna put these out here. You can definitely rinse them before. I'm not going to. It says that these are wash trimmed and ready to go. Quinoa is boiling, so we're gonna put that to low and set a timer for 18 minutes. Where's the lid? Okay, put that right there. Rinsed my sweet potatoes and they don't look the greatest, but honestly it's okay. I'm going to peel off the skin, most of it. And normally I would like to leave the skin on because it is a pretty nutritious part of the potato, but that's okay. If you guys don't have silver bowls like this, I highly recommend. They are so great. So first thing we're gonna do is just cut up these Brussels sprouts and um, I love using a bowl to shake them up with olive oil, salt and pepper, a little bit of oregano I think. I kind of change it up each time I do it, but overall pretty simple. I put a bowl for trash, but that's okay. Sometimes I even forget to use it, so this is fine. Y'all, we love Brussels sprouts. They are so good and tasty. And then you could cook them together with the sweet potato and just use one pan. Pretty good to go. Throw all this away really quick. ready to go so i'm going to switch this out and now put the cauliflower in there say though that like i understand that eating healthy can sometimes feel you know like a chore and something that maybe you don't want to do there's definitely days where i, I just do not feel like cooking honestly hard right, to have balance right like some days it's, it's okay to go and eat out or get takeout or something but um, for the majority, ideally, we'd want to eat at home because not only does it save us money, but um, that's the healthiest option for us. And ultimately, like, if we can see our health and what we eat as um, a way to fuel our body and think about how certain foods make us feel, um, I think that really helps. And that is a mindset that took me years to I feel like really develop um and I've been on this fitness journey for a very long time I know my camera's dying darn it it's cooked we're gonna add in our chicken broth now I got this big thing of reduced sodium or low sodium chicken broth we're gonna do two cups and that should be fine Oops. So I rinse and drain the black beans. I turn the heat up so it can come to a boil. Same thing about rinsing and draining the chickpeas. My camera died, so um, or the battery was dying, so I just cut up the soup potato off camera. Gonna add that here. I don't know if it would be good to add in tomato sauce but i kind of want to Ooh, those russells are basically ready to come on out yeah i'm just gonna add the can i'm sure it'll give it some extra flavor you know what i actually think i have tomatoes maybe i can put some tomatoes in here The Brussels sprouts are done and they look so good. There's definitely like thin pieces that got pretty burnt, um, but we just kind of take those out and it's totally fine. So I'm gonna put that off to the side and now we're gonna bake our sweet potatoes. So I'm just gonna put some olive oil in here, cinnamon, and then a little bit of some pink salt. So let's do that. Does anyone else get like super hungry as they're cooking because I feel like I really could go for a snack. I'm gonna just drizzle some oil in there, drizzle some on here. 
and I've heard people who I've seen cook say like a measure with your heart but honestly that's what I do with cinnamon and the oil but this I love this this is so good I feel like for a few years I was just not feeling sweet potatoes and then this year I have been this year and last year I feel like I've been on a sweet potato and Brussels sprout kick feeling coated just I'm gonna rinse this off really quick. Okay, so this is gonna go in the oven at 420 for about 20 to 25 minutes, just until I feel that it's ready to come out. I put the turkey chili for a timer of 28 minutes, so it has 23 minutes remaining, and then I'm just gonna use that same timer for the sweet potatoes. Um, and then I think we're almost done. We just have to cook the salmon, and that'll be it. Uh, the ground turkey is done. I'm just letting it cool. Um, I really love these little, I don't know what they're called. Um, I don't know what they're called, but basically you put them on, a on your countertop to prevent damaging your countertop from all the heat. And now I'm just gonna continue cleaning up. A big thing for me is just really trying to make it easy on myself in terms of cleaning as I go because it can add up really fast. So I'm gonna put this stuff up. Actually, I'm gonna leave the oil out because we need that for the salmon. We either use this one or we do like the oregano, um, but we do oregano, ground cumin, garlic, onion powder. We've got our Put our Himalayan pink salt. We use crushed pepper and a blackened seasoning. This we use this all the time for any meat that we cook and it's so good. My camera's dying again, so I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, so the food is done. It took a little bit over two hours and we've got like four meals right here. I'm pretty sure it's gonna make four meals. This looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. Um, we can top it with some cheese, some non-fat Greek yogurt for um, like a sour cream substitute. And then we've got our sweet potato, quinoa, ground turkey, Brussels sprouts, and salmon. And the thing that I like about prepping these things individually is that we can mix and match meals. So like, for example, tomorrow I could eat salmon, um, quinoa, and then the Brussels sprouts or I could do salmon, sweet potato, and the Brussels sprouts. And then we could also add in things like tuna packets because we do have a lot of tuna on hand. So that's just another option for us as well. But I do really hope that you enjoyed today's meal prep. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe. That is an easy free way that you can help support my channel. And I will see you guys in the next one.